In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our look at the new tool in PowerDirector 16 in our under the hood look, first looks, and we're going to look at the collage designer for the third time. I have a video collage that I've designed here and I'm going to place it on track number one. And when I click OK, it, it uh, drops in as designed and I can go ahead and let's resize this a little bit so it looks better and we'll go ahead and play the collage and we can see the frame animation starting we can see the different videos running uh, rather impressive so let's stop that and let's go ahead and edit it some more I'm going to click on the collage and then I'll click on the video collage button right above my tracks and that will help me edit the highlighted collage we looked before at how to change the pictures and as it reloads we like to get into the settings so let's click over here on the settings button now default is for all the videos to play back at once so that means whenever we start the videos will run let's look at the middle section first we can start the clips to play with the animation or after the animation let's click on that one and click on OK and I'll show you the difference when I hit the play button here, okay, we nothing's moving until the frames are, are all locked into their permanent place, and then the videos start. That's the difference. Otherwise, what would happen would be the action begins to take place even while the frames are in motion. So that's what that particular option will do for you. Let me click on another setting here. Uh, I like to leave it at after frame rather than with because then I miss out on some action. Uh, we can cause all the videos, no matter how long, to begin to play at the beginning. And the default is that if the video is not playing, it will be frozen. Let's change it to a delay. I'll take the delay. The default is three seconds and we can change that. I'm going to click on OK. Now watch what happens when we play this with a three second delay. Go ahead, don't get it frozen. And now this one starts since it's number one. And then the road starts. And then we're going to see after nine seconds, the people start. And since there's no animation here, there's nothing to happen. But this will cause a delay uh, to, to occur while the videos are loading so that you get a sequence and again if i want this one to be second i have to actually swap it and all i have to do is drag and drop and it will swap the road for the people so i can control the order but not the location so uh, i can't put number two over here but i can switch with uh, the box that is called number two so if i go ahead and play it now We'll find that the uh, after the uh, frames are in place, the waterfall happens, and then the bikers will start biking, and then the, you'll see movement in the third frame in the upper left corner with the road. So that's how you can change that. That's what that setting's all about. You can delay. Now, the other thing you need to know is, right now, it says my duration is matched to the longest clip. But if I go ahead and click on OK here, uh, I will find that the duration of the movie has grew because of those delays. So now it's 39 seconds and 11 frames. If I go back in editing, I find that the longest clip here is not 39 seconds, it's 29 seconds. But when I added the delay between the frames, that increased the uh, length of the entire clip. So this is approximate uh, if you have the setting here using a delay. The last option is to do one after another. Let me click on OK. Let's look at the sequence again too. OK, number one is up here. Let's see what happens if we place a, a solid clip here after the first one. We'll rotate these two. So this is seven seconds. I'm going to change the time down here. We'll reduce it down to maybe three. Okay, so number one is three seconds. Number two is pretty long, although I can shorten that if I want. Um, let's do that. 
let's go ahead and we'll do we get to do a mark in and a mark out uh, we'll start here and we'll go back to we'll make it real short to here okay and now the uh, duration is only four seconds on that clip I'll click on OK. Again, we haven't edited the true clip, just the one behind it. So I have a three second still. I have a four second video. And then the third one is 29 seconds long. And now my settings that I uh, adjusted here are one after another. So let's do OK and play it and see what happens. OK. It's all set. Three seconds and then four seconds. And then the road kicks in. All right, so that is what happens. They follow one after another, and one does not start until the other one happens to be finished. So that is the nature of that setting. We're going to stop that. And let's look at a couple other items here. So I have all at once, which is default, delay, or one after another. Well, let's go back to all at once. And the other option is, what do you want to do to every clip that has motion uh, when it's not its turn? Okay. The option freeze the video is probably the best one in most cases. You can go to display color board. Let's see what that does. I'm going to click here and we'll click our preview again. OK. And now it opens and my animation starts to look. After it's finished, it blanks out. Or you could set it to before it starts, it blanks out. And um, that's probably not what you want in most cases. And this will be the next one to go. And then the road, since it's the longest, will be the last one. And the clip will end when the road uh, video finishes. So that's what that particular option will do for you. Now let me go ahead and look at one more option. One is restart playback. The last time I went through this exercise, I had problems with PowerDirector using this. But let's see what happens. Maybe I'm more uh, fortunate this time. I'll click on OK. And now we'll click on uh, go ahead and click on play. And I'm running into the same issues I had before. Uh, one of two options, either I don't understand what this particular option is doing. You see, I keep getting the rendering option down here repeatedly. It might have something to do with my hardware or might have something to do with the fact that this is a brand new uh, copy of PowerDirector. So it's uh, using up some resources in some way I don't quite understand yet. Um, but uh, I'll come up with another video when we figure this out if uh, in case it's my system or it might be a new program. More to come on that issue. But in overall, you'll find that this is a nice feature of PowerDirector version 16. We'll cover more as we uh, be continue our first look series in CyberLink PowerDirector 16.